Hello everyone, this is Nork the Chilly here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Story Mode video. Today we are going to be doing Chapter 4 of Episode 6. Yesterday we did Chapter 3. And Chapter 3 was a pretty interesting episode. We um, looked around for a lot of clues and we found some things and we, uh, you know, suspected that it could be one of four people. Either Dan, uh, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Um, and, you know, that's because um, their seats had uh, buttons at their there were buttons at their seats um which could have been pushed to activate the white pumpkin killing captain sparkles and also we looked at the trap that killed torque dog and found a secret passageway behind the painting so that's where we left off with petra and ivor to look at that secret passageway so let's continue with episode six let's go guys okay we're in the secret passageway with I hope Petra Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. Uh, what if there are more traps in there? I'll be safe in there. Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. Sort of? Ooh, another painting. What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! Uh, don't touch it, Ivor. Of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. <laughs> Sorry, Ivor, I didn't want you activating any more traps. See anything that this lever might be connected to? Alright, uh, the only thing we can do is use the peephole. Peep Let's use the peephole. Ooh, it's a rabbit. Oh, that's funny. Jesse the rabbit. It's the library. Ooh. There's Dan. I see Dan locked up in there. Okay. Okay, so we got a dispenser right here, and then we got another dispenser up here, and then we got lava blocks. This is a little too obvious, but... Oh, someone's coming in. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. Ooh. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Um, yeah, ooh. it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just okay. Let's look at let's, let's just look at the dispenser. Oh come on! Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. Um, I feel just this dispenser. So awful. Oh no! Oh no! The white pumpkin. He's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. Hmm. Oh no. We're gonna punch the people? Uh, okay, let's punch the people. Yeah. What, what on earth? Oh. Oh no! He activated the trap! Oh no, and we got a bunch of spiders. What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Oh no. The trap got activated. Ooh, oh, this decision. Do we go to the painting or do we go to help our friends? I think our friends have got this pretty good. Like, they got Petra. I'm going to go for the painting. Oh, wait. No, no. I keep... Jesse, come on. Ah... I keep wanting to make these decisions, but I go so slow. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna help our friends. We're gonna make sure we get them on our side. You know, make sure they can trust us. No, Dan. Alright. Thanks. He's gone. Mm -hmm. For 
for now. Time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? Sounds could, fishy to me. You did push the button after all. I touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Still sounds pretty fishy to me, diamond minecart. No, 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 please. Please, I'm not lying. I'm telling you, when I pushed that thing, I had no idea what it would do. And if I'd known it would do that to sparkles... Oh. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... <gasps> oh, no. What? No, Lizzie! Enjoying the party? <laughs> After the white pumpkin. Jesse, are you okay? No. <laughs> you killed Lizzie, you beast. Oh no, is that a pressure plate? Yep. Oh no. No. And go. Up the stairs. No! Soul, Soul sand. sand! And lava. Oh, that's not good. Go! Come on, Jesse! And jump! Or punch, rather. And then jump. Oh, he's got an under pearl! Keep going, Jesse! Ooh. He hacked through the painting of Ivor. And jump! Oh, this guy. This guy's fit. <laughs> there! Jesse! I'll cut him off! Ah! Oh my god. Come on, Lucas. We can work together to do this. We can stop the white pumpkin. Uh, Lucas? And oh wait, his his armor changed. Wait, Lucas. Lucas. Hey, give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What? What happened? Okay. Or, yeah, this you're the killer. Bad. I'm gonna say that. Lucas, you're the white pumpkin. What? No, of course not. How? How could you even? Look, I was I was running after him, and then he punched me in the neck and stopped. Ooh. What? What's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah. It's no, it's a frame-up. Yeah, because he was wearing different clothes. No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the white pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse! These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. Mm -hmm. And now Lizzie is gone too. Yeah. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. We're just trying to help. Oh man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. <laughs> but I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? Is that okay, Lucas? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. 
Come on, Cassie. Hmm. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little Find out how the white pumpkin escaped. Somehow the white pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Yes. Sounds like a plan to me. Figure out where he went. Okay, now we have another looking around to see and so let's talk to Petra. How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. Mm -hmm. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Didn't think he had it in him. He still surprises me sometimes, that's true. Yeah, that guy can still surprise me sometimes. Agreed. I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Alright. Okay, what do we have going on here? Anything around here? No. Let's talk to Stampy and Dan. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Oh, Ooh. come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner humming to me. <laughs> it calms me down. <laughs> Huh? Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. I just realized why is Dan's like hair color changing? His hair color is like changed quite frequently. All right, let's talk to Stacy. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Okay. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. All right, we got a bunch of paintings. Let's look at this painting first of the taiga biome. Hmm. Ooh, should I punch it or? Let's look at this painting first. And this one, this portrait of the white pumpkin. Mm. Which one do you think we should punch first? I'm gonna punch this one first. I'm gonna see what happens. And nothing's behind it. Alright, let's punch this painting. See what's behind it. Nope. I guess it would have to be this portrait then. That'd be the obvious choice. Yes. <gasps> Whoa, another secret passage. Ooh. They're all of his weapons, the diamond axe, the the uh the tipped arrow and the sand. Okay, let's look at the item frames. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Ooh. Alright, so guys, I'm guessing that this is gonna be the order in the deaths. So the first one. So let's take out all the things first. Alright, so... Oh, wait, no, wait, no, I didn't mean to... Okay, no, I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so... Alright, so the sand will go in the middle. That's good, we moved that. Yeah, so that's still locked. There we go, awesome. So, the order of the deaths. So then this one was... Uh, Torque Dog was the first one to die, and he died by the tipped arrows. And that was the first. Then Captain Sparkles with the sand, and then Lizzie with the axe. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. So place the axe here, and it should activate. Oh, yeah, that seems right. Wait, what? Oh, it is right. Okay, good. Good. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. Could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think... We're all in this together! Let's go, guys! Yet. Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. 
Ugh. You know what? They're not worth it. Come on. No. I mean, these guys are just being salty, but... Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, all those people back uh, there have been so ungrateful, so petty. I understand. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off it's my It's okay, chest. Petra. I feel the same way. get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're going to get down there, huh? Yes. You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood Yes, they come in handy. I knew they'd come in handy. Oh, wait. They're... Sorry. Oh. I was whittling oh. earlier. Nervous oh. habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. <sighs> okay. Oh, uh, we can craft things. Uh, all right. Let's... You thinking ladder? Ooh, yes. Maybe. Yeah? Gonna need a lot of them. Okay. I'll race ya. Ooh, a crafting competition. You're on. Okay. All right. So let's look at the recipes we got here. Uh, just a ladder. Can we make anything else? Can we use? Oh, we have the white pumpkin head. And we have the glowing flint and steel diamond sword. We have an ever source. Oh, the ever source crown. I remember that. Okay. But I guess we can only make ladders. So let's just. Do a little lettuce, a little lettuce. Wait. Okay. I just, I guess we just need to keep making ladders. All right, there's one ladder. Duh, duh. Oh, <laughs> already finished yours. Yup. Slow poke. <laughs> duh, duh. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get crafting to montage. So here we go. Oh yes. Awesome. That was a very lame montage but still a montage so why not all right let's place the ladder okay that's one down lots more to go <sighs> all right we are going down in this big hole placing ladders as we go and that is the end of chapter four guys thank you for watching Chapter 4 of episode 6. <laughs> chapter 4 of episode 6, guys. That was a good, good chapter. Uh, unfortunately, Lizzie did die. And there was a big decision of going after the White Pumpkin. Or staying to help my friends. And there are two big decisions where I've, like, thought about them so much that... I, you know, the time has run out. And I, you know, they it picked for me. Um, but in the end, I feel like those, it's, those decisions were the right decisions. Uh, and, yeah. So then we also were in the room... Uh, Lucas got taken away, and he's, you know, being watched by Ivor, and, uh, but we found another secret passageway, and we might be on the way of finding, um, you know, where the White Pumpkin escaped to, down that big hole. So guys, I will see you tomorrow for Chapter 5 of Episode 6, and goodbye!